Hello children, this is your English grammar book, Superb English Grammar Book 2. Children, today we will do Unit 4 of this book, Capital Letter and Punctuation. Children, you will learn the use of capital letter and punctuation, which is very important for framing sentences. As you have learned in your previous unit that proper nouns start with capital letter. The special name of person, place, etc. begin with capital letter and followed by small letters. Uh, some examples are given like Jawahar Lal Nehru, Sanya Mirza, Kathmandu, Nainital, France, Lotus Temple, Doll Museum, India. Children, these are specific names particular name of a place or a person so they are called proper nouns and they start with capital letter as we can see Jawaharlal is written with capital J Nehru is written with capital N similarly Sanya Mirza S is capital of Sanya and M is capital of Mirza in the same way Kathmandu K is capital then Nainital. Here N is capital. N of Nainital is capital. Then F. F of France is capital. Similarly, Lotus Temple. L is capital and then T is capital. T of Temple is capital. Then Doll Museum. Here also D of Doll and M of Museum both are capital letter. Then I. I of India is capital. It means that proper nouns, nouns always begin with capital letters. Now, there is an exercise given below. Write the names of your class teacher and two classmates. Don't forget to start the names and surnames with capital letter. Children, this you have to do yourself. You have to write the name of your class teacher and any two classmates. But you have to remember one thing that you have to start their name and surname with capital letter. Why? Because the name of your class teacher is a specific name of a person, special name. So you will start with capital letter. Similarly, the names of your classmates are proper nouns, name of particular person. So you will start the names and surnames with capital letter. Done? Now coming to the next part of the exercise. This is your family tree. Write the names of each relatives and paste their pictures too. Now this, in this exercise, there is a tree and what you have to do, you have to write the names of your relatives, your family members or relatives and you have to paste their pictures also. Uh, the place is given uh, on the tree. So children, you have to do this exercise yourself. Then coming to the third part. Here what you have to do, use capital letters um, at uh, correct places and end the sentence with full stop. Now in this exercise, what you have to do, you have to use capital letter at correct place, uh, which means that you have to start proper noun with capital letter. You have to start the name of proper noun with capital letter and you have to end the sentence with full stop. So let's do uh, the first part that is Cinderella was a beautiful girl. Here Cinderella is a proper name, name of a particular girl. So we will start um, the name Cinderella with capital C. C will be capital. Cinderella was a beautiful girl, full stop. Next. This one is done. Now coming to next. Robert and Anna live in London. Now here, Robert and Anna both are proper nouns. Name of particular person. So we will start, uh, we will write capital R for Robert and capital A for Anna. R of Robert uh, will be capital and A of Anna will be capital. Robert and Anna live in London. Here, uh, L of London will be capital. Why? Because London is a name of a particular city. It's a proper noun. So, L will be capital. R capital of Robert, A capital of Anna and L capital of London. R Robert and Anna live in London. Full stop. 
Next. This we have done. This we have done. Now third one. Fatima went to Mumbai. Now F of Fatima will be capital. Why? Because Fatima is a proper noun. It's the name of a particular person. Fatima went to Mumbai. Now M of Mumbai should be capital. Why? Because Mumbai is the name of a particular city. So M of Mumbai will be capital. So we will write Fatima went to Mumbai full stop. This we have done, this we have done and the third one we have done. Now fourth one. January is the first month of the year. Here uh, J of January will be capital because January is the name of a particular month. So J should be capital. January is the first month of the year and we will put full stop. Then fifth one. Mother Teresa was a kind lady. Here Mother Teresa is a name of a particular person. So it's a proper noun. We will start with capital M and capital T. Capital M Mother Capital T, Teresa. Mother Teresa was a kind lady. Full stop. Now coming to the next. Here. Uh, what it is written? It's written that statement statements ends with a full stop. When we ask a question, then the sentence ends with a question mark. Now children, the, st the statement sentences. The simple statement sentences starts with capital letter and they ends with a full stop. Similarly, when, uh, the, when we ask a question, we put a question mark at the end of the sentence. When we ask a question, we put a question mark at the end of the sentence. Uh, here are uh, some sentences given. Read the sentences below. Where are you going? This is a question. So a question mark is there. And the sentence is starting with capital W. Uh, w H E R E where so W is capital where are you going question mark now the girl is answering I am going to market now here I is capital so I am going to market this is a simple statement so uh, there is a full stop at the end of the sentence now next one is who was the first prime minister of India see who was the first prime minister of India here P is capital and M is capital. Why? Because um, Prime Minister is a particular post. So, and the question is starting with question, uh, is starting with capital letter, capital W. The que this sentence is starting with capital uh, W. Who was the first Prime Minister of India? India is also um, starting with capital I because India is a name of a particular country. And since uh, it's a question. So there is a question mark at the end of the sentence. Who was the first Prime Minister of India? Question mark. Now, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was the Prime Minister of India. Here, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru is a particular name. It's a proper noun. So we are writing this with, it's written with capital uh, letter. Capital J, Jawaharlal and capital N, Nehru. Jawaharlal Nehru was the first Prime Minister of India and since it's a statement uh, there is a full stop at the end of the sentence. Now read some more sentences. What is your name? Now this is again a question so the sentence has question mark at the end and the sentence is starting with capital W. What is your name? Question mark. Then next my name is Pinky. Here M is capital. The sentence is starting with a capital letter and since it is a statement, it is ending with a full stop. My name is Pinky, full stop. Next question, where is my book? This is a question. So the question, uh, the sentence has question mark at the end and it is starting with capital W. Where is my book? Question mark. Then the answer is, it is in your bag. Here, it. I capital and it's a statement so there is a full stop at the end of the sentence. It is in your bag. The next question, where do you study? Again this is a question 
so the sentence has question mark at the end and it is starting with capital w where do you study so the answer is i study in dps noida now here dps noida is the name of a particular school so dps is written with capital and n of noida is written with capital it is starting with capital um, and since it is a simple sentence a statement uh, there is a full stop at the end of the sentence i study in dps noida and full stop now coming to the next part of the exercise write the following sentences properly using capital letters full stops or question mark wherever necessary now what you have to do you have to write these sentences properly these sentences are not written properly not uh, punctuation marks are not used so we have to use capital letter um, for proper nouns and also to start the sentence full stop if it is a statement question mark if it is a question and we have to uh, write the sentences properly so let's do the first one do you brush uh, do you brush your uh, your teeth daily so uh, children it is written you actually it should be your do you brush your teeth daily children this is a question so what we will do we will put a question mark at the end of this sentence and we will write capital d for do d capital and then o do you brush your teeth daily question mark uh, then number 2 i will go to dehradun in january now here this is a statement so at the end of the sentence we will put full stop now we should start with capital i since it the sentence always starts with capital letter and i is always capital so we will write capital i i will go to now here dehradun dehradun is a name of a particular place so d of dehradun should be in capital letter d of dehradun should be in capital letter then um, in january now here january is the name of a particular month so j of january should be in, uh, should be capital j should be capital i capital d capital and j capital i will go to capital d dehradun in january capital j and we will put full stop at the end of the sentence now number 3 sachin tendulkar played cricket now here sachin tendulkar is a name of a particular person so s of sachin should be capital and t of tendulkar should be capital s capital and t capital sachin tendulkar played cricket and full stop it's a uh, it's a statement so we will put a full stop now number 4 what do you want now this is a question what do you want so there will be a question mark at the end of the sentence and what this is the beginning of the sentence so w should be capital what do you want question mark and w should be capital now number 5 sneha and paris are playing badminton now sneha and paris are name of particular person sneha is a proper noun and paris is also a proper noun so we will write capital s for sneha and capital p for paris sneha and paris are playing badminton and full stop why because it is a statement sentence we will put a full stop now uh, number 6 where is the gateway of india again this is a question where is the gateway of india so we will put question mark at the end of the sentence now since the sentence always begin with capital letter we will write capital w for where where is the gateway of india now gateway of india is a name of a mon monument a particular uh, monument so g should be capital g of gateway should be capital and i of india should be capital g capital and i capital where is the gateway of india question mark number 7 kartik can swim well 
here kartik kartik is a proper noun it's a name of a particular person so we will write capital k for kartik capital k kartik can swim well full stop it's a statement we will put full stop now number 8 what is your mother's name again this is a question so we will put question mark at the end of the sentence and again the w of what should be capital what is your mother's name full stop sorry what is your mother's name question mark since it is a question now number 9 where do eskimos live now this is a question we will put question mark where do eskimos live since uh, the sentence always begins uh, with capital letter so we will write capital w for where where do eskimos live question mark then number 10 eskimos live in igloo here this is a statement so we will put uh, full stop at the end of the sentence and we begin a sentence with capital letter so we will write capital e for eskimos eskimos live in igloo full stop now next exercise look at the picture carefully read the questions and write answers use capital letters and full stop wherever necessary now children this is a picture of a uh, of an amusement park so let's uh, do the exercise given below number 1 which place is it now look at the picture and you have to identify and also options are given in the bracket it is an amusement park it is a picture of an amusement park question 2 what is the name of this amusement park uh, see children it is written worlds of wonder the name of this amusement park is worlds of wonder so we will write its name is worlds of wonder and as you can notice uh, this is a proper noun it's a name of a particular place so w is capital uh, of world and w is capital of wonder worlds of wonder its name is worlds of wonder now where is it located as we can see it is written noida so we will write it is located at noida and again noida is the name of a particular place so n of noida is capital what are the children doing there now what are the children doing they are enjoying a ride on a swing the children are enjoying a ride on swing full stop number 5 which is your favorite ride uh, ride now children this you have to answer yourself you have to tell you have to write which is your favorite ride now with this we come to the end of this um, exercise and with the end of this unit 4